Hey guys, this is Bharat Watch with PhoneArena.com and this is the LG G Pro 2 that we have been making videos of as you might have already known. This is the Korean company's flagship phablet device with a screen of 5.9 inches but very thin bezels we must admit but LG has still added some really cool features like for example mini view and uh, other multitasking features like Q slide and dual window which you might have already seen on other devices but considering the real estate of this screen it's uh, pretty interesting so we are going to show you that all one by one so let's start with mini view this is part of the one handed operation settings so you can enable this or uh, disable it of course uh, this is simply activated by swiping left or right on the front touch buttons these are the front touch buttons so if you uh, swipe right it automatically reduces itself to a smaller part of the screen so this is pretty useful when you want to uh, you know type up uh, on a keyboard the keyboard also has this own uh, slide aside uh, thing but still it's pretty useful if you want to you know uh, have easy access to the <laughs> notification center perhaps because this is a huge huge screen and if your friend or someone has a smaller hands and wants to use this phone then this could be useful in this type so that's how the mini view works it is resizable you can even reduce it to a small screen and also up to this level so that's how the mini view works press the close button you can move move this around anywhere you want and of course hitting the close button will close the mode now that's mini view for you and going into the uh, other settings which is for multitasking. So multitasking you have dual window and split view. So let's first take a look at split view which uses three fingers. It's not really useful for single handed operation but if you do it, it's uh, kind of useful. It's not really the best way to multitask on a phone but still pretty useful if you ask us. So you can add three apps, maximum of three apps in the Q slide, uh, slider side thing. So I've added already two apps and one more app. Let's add, for example, okay, the camera doesn't work. Let's add the gallery. So these three apps can be again seen by the three finger gesture. You can see the apps here, which can be easily closed by a gesture. And also let's open up another app. And there you go. That's the three apps maximum that you can have with the slide aside uh, thing. So it's pretty much the only uh, normal way to do the Q slide thing. It, it's not really uh, the best way to do it, but it is something LG has implemented. Now the other thing is dual window, which is very, very similar to what we have in Samsung devices. You can add two apps at the same time to the window, which makes sense for the 5.9 screen actually. We hope like other manufacturers with big screens do it, uh, unlike just, uh, you know, LG or Samsung. This is pretty useful and the way LG and Samsung have done it is pretty similar. So what you have here is Chrome at the bottom and videos at the top. You can have videos playing and still take a look at uh, anything else you want on the bottom side. So you can even resize it. It resizes nicely. So you have always have a video running at the top and you can do your stuff at the bottom so pretty useful for a huge phone like this and you can also switch between them make this smaller make this larger and you can also add more apps if you want and uh, it's a pretty limited selection of course because only few apps support this kind of scaling and uh, that's how it works so otherwise you also have the options to make it full screen it will still stay in the window mode. You can still go back and make it in the normal size. And also you have the option to close it whenever you want. So that's the dual window option in the LG G Pro 2. It's nothing different from the Samsung implementation, but LG and Samsung are mostly one of the two companies that have implemented this well. We hope just that more uh, apps are added here. For example, uh, WhatsApp or other apps which Samsung has added uh, in its own uh, implementations but still we would like to see LG do the same. So that's about it for the 
uh, new and uh, improved features in the LG G Pro 2. You may have already seen this in G2 and other phones, but still uh, recommended that you know when you buy the LG G Pro 2. So that's about it for the video. Do hit the like button if you like this and do hit the subscribe button if you want more videos like these. And also let us know what you think in the comment section below.